Hey guys, and welcome back to another video where today I'm happy to announce the latest asset pack released by my game studio, Copper Gaming. And so this one is the Quest System Starter Pack. And this starter pack gives you access to easy to use blueprints and nodes to create unlimited quests and objectives for players to complete within your game. So these quests can be given by an AI, by entering a location, a certain time in the game, or for example in a story, or anything else that you want. This system is very easy to use and entirely customizable so you can set up the quests in any way that you want. So some of the main features of this pack are that it is a modular and customizable design for ease of integration into your own games. On top of that is an easy to use and set up system which I'll briefly cover later on in this video as well and then probably also make a more detailed tutorial in the future too. There is a quest component within this so everything is nicely compacted into one efficient blueprint. You can add quests and objectives. There is also a quest log of current and completed quests for the player to look back on at any time. Multiple quests can be active at one time. Rewards for completing a quest can be easily added in. There is a fully customizable UI. There is one example demo map and there are three example AI with quests within that demo map as well. So if we were just get in here and have a quick play, we can see what this is like. So as you spawn in, you can see we have the quest system here with some of the easy controls here. So you've got WAS to move, space to jump, E to interact and Q to open a quest log. And you can see there's also documentation that we've created as well. So for example, you can see three AI over there, as I just mentioned. Let's walk up to this one first. And if we press E to interact, we have this nice sound effect. And then we have the quest start at the top. And in the top left, we have our quest log. We can see quest block, jump, jump through this course, jumps zero out of five. So you have the title, the description, and the objective, which you can obviously customize in any way that you want. This is just a very simple, easy quest to do, just for the purpose of showing it off. So we can jump over these like so. We can jump five times. And you can see as well that if you spam it, it's not going to work. It's not going to do it too much. And you can see once you've completed it, it's worked perfectly. And if we just press Q, you can see that we now have completed quests jump over here. So this is the quest we just did. And you have jump over these five barriers to reach the end point. And we can close that again like so. Let's go over to another one of these. So we have this AI here. I interact with it. Quest started. Apple collection. So apple collection. Collect my apples. Collected zero of three. Let's go over to this forest over here and start collecting these apples. Press E to pick it up. You can see one out of three. If I were to open the quest log, you can see we have current quests and completed quests. So if we go onto this. It says go to that forest over there and get my apples for me. We'll close this and again we can collect all of these perfectly like so. And now that quest is completed open the quest log, it is now in completed quests. So again, you need just some nice, very easy, simple quests that we've set up just for the purpose of showing it off and seeing how it works. But you can see that it's very easy to have these quests here. I'll press E again on this new one and find your home. So this one is somewhere we just have to go to a location. We'll walk over into this building and it has now been completed by going over there. So we have these different ways of completing quests. We have one here by doing a certain amount of things, i.e. jumping five times this one by collecting different items, and this one by simply just going to a location. So you can see these different ways of completing different types of quests that an AI has given us. Now, if we just close this, we can have a look about into the project a little bit as well. So for example, if I just click on this AI here, you see we have the details panel here, where we have all of the different items we can input into this quest. Now you don't have to do it through this details panel here, I've just set it up like this in this project example here just to show it, but you can do it within the blueprint as well. That way might be a bit easier if you're making a more complex quest as there will be more available options in a more easy manner. But you can see, for example, we have the quest ID, the name and the description, and also the long description, which is the one that will appear inside of the quest log. You have the objective type. So this is what does the player need to do to complete it? So for example, this one was a bull because I want it to be true when I go to a certain place. You have an integer, percentage, float, or completely custom if that's what you want as well. And under here, you can set up what it is that needs to do. So again, the ball needs to be ticked to true, or if you say to integer, what do you need to get? Like five, for example, or three apples. Or you can also do less than, so it needs to be less than three. So for example, if you want to kill a certain amount of enemies. Then you have the objective ID and the objective description as well. So it's very easy and simple to set it up that is all you need to do to set up the quest itself. And to complete the quest, what we can do 
is let's go up to the apple ones for example which you can see we click on the apples here objective type int int 3 we have this apple blueprint over here open it up and you can see what we've got is when you interact with it you're going to see if you can get the quest component then you'll find the objective add one to the current amount of integers because we're picking up an apple we want to increase the integer update the completion we'll check if it's completed and then because we're picking this apple up we're obviously also going to destroy it now you might be wondering why i'm going over this quite quickly it's because this video the purpose of this is just to show you it i'm not going over how it will work so a tutorial on how to use it will be done in the future this is just showing you what is possible with this quest pack so we can have these objectives nice and easily and we can also you can see here how to update the completion of an objective now if we were to also open up an ai blueprint you can see a little bit more of that as well so we can see in here this is where you can create the quest and add the objective and now this is why i said you can also just do it in the blueprint instead of the details panel i've just had all of these variables here for the details panel but if you want to just do it in here that's perfectly fine because again then you can add multiple objectives in a much easier fashion than having them all just be variables inside of the details panel i just did it for the purpose of this project overview we'll close that once again as well and i think that will probably be it for this overview like i say just a nice simple overview of what is possible with the quest system starter pack so again just another quick final summary this quest system starter pack allows you to easily create quests and objectives for the player to complete using easy to use blueprints and nodes to create unlimited quests and objectives for your game that you can look back on in the quest log and even see current quests in the quest log as well and again you can add multiple objectives to the same quest multiple quests can be active at once you can have an ai give them to the player tie it into the story whatever it is that you want the options are really limitless with this we tried to set this up in the most modular and customizable way possible so that you can really create your own quests how you want this is just the starter pack so you can expand upon it if you wanted to as well the marketplace page will be linked in the description down below and on there there is also documentation on how to use it but again i will be making a tutorial in the future as well so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and please do make sure to check out the link in the description down below to check out this quest system starter pack all of the support is greatly appreciated so again thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one